hard. Two-thirds of the shelf consumed, Furthy at seventeen stone and six foot two is dancing on the table. Fuck, I say to Dan, if he swings off that chandelier, the whole roof will come down. It's too bloody late now. We have created a monster. Next thing, Furthy jumps off the table and rushes the Filipino band. The four-foot-three group scatters all high heels and eyelashes, screaming in every direction. Big Furthy, come here, I just want to give you a big Aussie hug and say good day. It's my first week in Bahrain. Security, huddled in a corner, terrified, starts to become brave as one of the Filipino band members goes over to scold them. Pointing at us angrily and getting even more hysterical, time to leave. We rescue Furthy from the microphone as he starts to sing, I come from a land down under, and make a run for it. The four of us are at the top of solid marble stairs. Furthy suddenly trips and rolls down over and over again down the forty-odd steps, lies in a crumpled heap at the bottom. We look at each other. Fuck, I think we've killed him. I knew he was dead. Me, when Chris, his mother, finds out. Safe hands and all. I would have to use those two passports to go into hiding again. Suddenly, Furthy springs back onto his feet. We look at each other. No fucking way. He looks back up the stairs and yells, Where's the party at, bastards? Trips over the lip of the door, falls backwards and crushes a four-foot Filipino flat. Right, that's it. Let's go right now. Outside, Furthy is leaning on a stranger's car when he staggers and rips off the wing mirror. We grab Furthy and bundle him into the bright pink Avon car, still holding the little mirror. Then the three of us jump in. Ivan is making his own version of Room by crashing it into the front car and then the back several times. As the bumper fell off and the exhaust became loose, we rattled off into the warm Bahrainian night. We could just see through the back window, the angry Filipinos waving and yelling after trying to resuscitate their lead singer, Angel May. Well, Furthy, we said, welcome to Bahrain. Have a nice day. Ivan, I said, you know you're fucked, right? W why? Well, we are in a bright pink Avon lady car that was visible from outer space with your mum's address and phone number blazoned all over it. Wouldn't take a genius to figure out who the owner is? Oh, damn. Lucky I stole it. She doesn't know. Well, when the Bahrain SWAT team raid her house, she soon will. Isn't she also dating a major in the BDF? Bahrain Defence Force. No. A general, Ivan clarifies. Ivan, my good man, you are so dead. Not by the general, by the way, but by your mother. She has one of the worst tempers ever witnessed by mankind. We all shudder. Oh, shit. You're right. And I've only just arrived. It's her birthday tomorrow. I'll take it out to the desert and torch it. Say it was nicked by someone with a vendetta against the company's hair products. Anyway, it's a shit car. Doing mum a favour. It'd only be worth 500 quid if there was a 450 pound hooker in the boot. Dan and I throw each other a look. I really hope that trunk is empty. I whisper over to Dan. Anyway, Ivan, 